Uh, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining, joining me on another version of Freefold Saturday. And this is the holiday card theme uh, class. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I wanna start with the picture frame model. And so this actually, just go ahead, grab a sheet of paper. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, take it with the, the white side or the back side of the paper facing up. I'm gonna fold it in half. We're gonna make some pre-creases here. Go ahead and line up your edges. Give it a good crease. Open it up. Fold both top and bottom to the center line. Rotate, fold the other to the center. You want to make these pretty good strong creases because these are pre-creases that sets us up for the collapse. Okay, now that you have that, we're going to open it up, rotate, and repeat. So fold it in half first. Open it up. Fold the top and bottom edges to the center. Nice strong creases. And then go ahead and open it up. So now you should have a grid of 16 squares. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make both diagonals. So go ahead and turn, uh, fold your diagonals. Nice strong crease. Open it up, rotate, fold the other diagonal. Good strong crease. Open it up. And so now we're going to collapse the model. You've got on the outer edge here, So this outer row, so you see you've got your outer row here and then your inner four corners here or four squares here. And so what we want to do is make a valley fold along this first row here. So go ahead and start pushing it in. And what happens is when you get to the corner, go ahead and pinch it. So it looks like this. Okay, so bring the next side up, bring the third side up, pinch the corner between those two, and then continue for the final one. Bring that side up and pinch both corners, top and bottom. So it should look like this. You got your square in the middle there. So now we're going to grab between the points here and then you're just gonna push everything in. Now you've got those four points that stick out. So go ahead and rotate them to the, to the left. Have them all going to the same direction. We're kind of making a pinwheel like that. Now go ahead and we're going to work on each propeller here. You wanna take this flap and fold it back along the spine. So consider from the center of the model to the outer corner, this is the fold we wanna create. So you just wanna take, take the flap and just push it over to the right side and give it a crease. What we wanna do is reinforce the, what I call the backbone of this particular shape here. Then uh, we're going to reach inside, see this little pocket here? Reach inside with your finger, pop it open, and then squash fold it. We're going to flatten it so that it turns into a square. Your center line here should line up right with the middle. So rotate the model and repeat. Take this, but it's really important to get that backbone. Otherwise, it's not going to uh, crease correctly. So take it and flip it over to the right side and go ahead and crease. Bring it up. You've got a pocket here, so slide your finger into the corner of the pocket till it pops open. And squash fold it so that the center line on top 
lines up with the center of the model. And then just go ahead and crease that around. It should fall right into place. Rotate, let's do the next one. Take that propeller wing, fold it back along the spine. Give that a good crease. Make it vertical. Slide your finger into the pocket and flatten. Lining up with the center point and your fold along here. And then the final one, take it, fold it back out to the right, bring it straight up, slide your finger into the pocket and squash fold. And kind of go around and make sure it's nice and flat. It's okay if it's off a little bit. See, mine's off just a little bit here, but that's okay because you're gonna open up the entire center and it's gonna be fine. And they're gonna be looking at the picture anyway or whatever note or greeting you're gonna put in there, which is kind of fun. Okay, so now we're going to take the points here and just fold it in half. We're gonna bring this point to the outer corner like this. So we're just basically folding that square in half like that. And repeat to the other remaining three. You're taking this flat from the inside and bringing it to the outside. Rotate, bring the center point to the outside and fold. And the final one, bring the center to the outside and fold. So now look inside from the center. You see, you've got four points. I'm lifting one up right here, this. This folds out to the outer edge like that. Rotate and repeat. We're just going to open up the center here. Rotate. And rotate and do the other one, the final one. So this is one version. The one that I showed you is this version. The difference here to make these points is, let's fold the four corners back into the center. We have these four, uh, the four corners are back into the middle. So the variation comes here. You're going to take, you see there's a, if you look at each square here, this one here, you've got, two flaps. We're going to take this edge here and fold it to the center like this. Take the other one, fold that to the center like this and then unfold. And we're going to actually reverse that and create a mountain fold. So it folds to the back. So we're going to take and just fold it to the back using that, whoops, here we go. So like this, so we're just taking that flap and tucking it behind. Now you may choose, it might be easier for you because it's a little bit of a struggle whenever you reverse the fold is, so we're here on this next one here. If you take one flap, let's say this one on the left and just flip it over, then you could take this edge and fold it to the center. That might be easier for you like this. And then take that flap and don't forget to flip it back over so that you're looking at this. Now we're going to take the other flap, bring that over to the left. We're taking this bottom edge and we're bringing it to that center line. And then we're flipping that back over. Don't forget to flip it back over. 
So now that it looks like this. That's going to be easier, I think, than reversing the direction of the fold. So now we're going to turn it and we're working on the third one here. So again, from the left, I flip it over to the right. This bottom edge comes to the, that center line there and flip it back over to the left. Take the right flap, swing it over to the left. This bottom edge comes to this center line here. And put that flap back over like that. And then we've got the final one. Flip the flap over, flip the flap, flip the flap over to the right. We're taking this bottom edge, bringing it to the center line, creating a dart. And then flip it back over to the left. And then the final one, flip that over to the left. Fold this bottom edge to the center and then flip it back over. Now this point really makes sure that it's nice and flat. You can take your, your bone folder or a pen, make it nice and flat. And then go ahead and take the center um, points that we did and bring that up. Fold that the center point to the outside edge. I hope this encourages you to send pictures. It could be pictures of your pet. It could be pictures of you, whatever. Or it could just be a little card that you write, happy holidays or Merry Christmas or whatever. It's just kind of a cool thing, but it does have, oh, so when you put the picture in there, you got to figure out what part of the picture you want to be here in the center, okay? So you have to kind of do some planning and you want to put it inside before we close all the points in. So um, the picture should be, you know, if it's this size, we want to make sure that the center of that is, is right here so that you can get that image showing. So the point that you put the picture in is fold and fold and fold. Okay. So you're going to put the picture after we did those pre creases and before we started to do this, that's where you put the, the picture in. Okay. So the picture goes in. Do your claps. And then continue with the model. So you have it all done. It's pretty fun. It almost looks like speed folding. Okay. Da, 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 da. Well, I'm going to actually just do it at the basic, the first one that we did. So your picture would be in there. I should have had a picture. Okay, how's that? <laughs> okay. So that is the picture frame. Really cool model. This is a classic model. I don't know how old it is, but it has been around for quite some time. I don't believe it has a name, but it's just a really cool model that just, you know, geometrically, it's just, it's pretty amazing um, and very simple. So go ahead and grab another sheet of paper. I'm going to go ahead and use, let's see, does the green show it better? Let's try green this time. So we're going to do something called a seal base. A seal base, you might have recognized this if you've done some origami before. Um, pretty easy and straightforward. Uh, go ahead and take your square, turn it over to the back side. Sorry. And then we're going to fold it into a triangle. So we're going to do some pre-creasing here. and open it up. We've got our center line here. And then now we're going to fold um, a kite base, or basically what that is, is we're taking this edge, 
and we're folding it to meet the center like this. Give that a good strong crease. Do the same for the other side, the top side. Since I like to fold from the bottom up, I rotate my model and then I fold this up like this. Give that a good strong crease. This is a classic, what we call a kite base. Now we're going to unfold. And now we're going to do the kite base on this corner. So we're taking this edge and bringing it up to the center line. And the same for the other side. I'm rotating my model, bring the edges to the center. Try to go up to, but not over that center line. General rule when you're doing, you know, origami and you're dealing with some free creases and, and, and things like that. Okay, so now we're gonna open it up. We're gonna rotate it so that, you know, we have our kite base going up and down. So you see, you've got a diamond shape. The points are here. We're going to make a diagonal going from this corner to this corner. So basically, once you have it oriented this way with the diamond going up and down like this, we're gonna fold it in half. We want that pre-crease in there. And then unfold. So you should see, you know, you've got your diamond here. And you've got your, okay. So now kind of like what we did with the corners of this when we were collapsing it, we're going to take, let's make these into valley folds. So we're gonna do a valley fold here. That stops halfway. Take the top valley fold, bring that down. And then it pinches into this, this point. And then just go ahead and, and uh, lay it down forward like this. So I'm gonna rotate the model and repeat. Take that bottom edge, bring it to the center. Goes about halfway. Take the top, valley fold that in. Way, comes to a point, and then let's push it towards us, which matches what you have on the other side. So it should look like that. This is called a seal base. I'm going to rotate it this way so that have it so that the points are facing to the left, just like how I have my model here. Now you see this point here on the right, we're going to bring that point up to where these two meet here. So take that point and bring it up to this point here and go ahead and fold. Okay. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna do both sides because this is, we're working on this, this half here, but we need to duplicate it here. It's gonna be easier if we do the pre-creases at the same time. So after we do this fold, go ahead and open that up. Let's move these guys over to the right. So those two center points are moving it over to the right. So now it should be oriented like this. and bring this point over here to meet this. Okay. And these should be good strong creases too, please. Okay. And then unfold. Now let's flip the points back over and we're working on this point here. We want to take, let's refold it, sorry, like this, and then take the whole thing and we're gonna fold it in half with the points on the inside. We're, so we're making a valley fold down the center here. So it's gonna look like that. You're not gonna see, well, I have I drew my line here, but it you, the points are on the inside, okay? Now we have to do a, a diagonal fold here with this corner. And so you wanna bring this corner up and you see this point here? So it should, the diagonal should go from this point to here. So I'll just demonstrate. Just bring it straight up like that. You should see 
a fold where I have this line here. So that's your guide. So you're just taking this and we're giving that a good strong crease and unfold and then unfold. Okay. And unfold this guy here. Okay. So now you've got this here. We've got a fold, a line here. So that last fold that we created made this square. So the only thing we're doing is we're holding this fold here, valley fold, by opening this up, pinching it open, and then continuing to squash fold it into place. This point will end up lining back up with these two flaps inside here. Now take, take that same flap, this point, and it's gonna fold out and it goes beyond this edge here. The goal is you see these, the flaps that you have in here, this should line up right with that. This, this is the center of the model. So you see this point up here on the top and the one on the bottom, that's where the fold should occur. So it makes a triangle and it will stick out beyond this edge here. Awesome. Now we're gonna work with these two middle points here. And basically we're just gonna take, take one, bring it to the center and we're going to reach inside and we're gonna squash fold this straight down like this and making sure that your, your fold here lines up with the center, this whole center here. Then take the point, this point here and fold it back along. And it, it actually ends with these two points here. So you wanna pull it up as far as it'll go, which will end at those two points. And we're gonna repeat with the bottom. So then now you wanna bring that, I'm gonna rotate the model, might be a little bit easier for you to see. Okay, bring that flat to the center reach inside the pocket. So open it up and we are going to squash this down. Fold that and then take the point and fold it up as far as it'll go, creating a triangle. So those points should line up with the center of the model here. So we have half of the, half of this now, okay? with some funny lines. Now we're going to take both of these center ones and just fold it in half. So we want to bring these flaps over to the other side, to the left side, in this case, with the way I have my mine oriented. So you're bringing those flaps over, I'll repeat, and just we're just folding it in half and moving it out of the way. Because now we have to collapse this side here. Um, on this side, we did not do that square fold, I realized. But I think we can do this without that, the guidance of the pre-crease. So do you see that the center right here, this line here? So the goal is to take this edge and make a valley fold going this way so that this lines up with this. So lift it up and we're gonna bring it over okay so this edge lines up with this fold by lifting up and we're valley folding it so that it lines up and then just go ahead and fold that And it'll stick up like this. Take the bottom flap. I hope this you guys can see this. Lift it up. This part lines up with the middle spine here. So we're just peeling it open and lining it up. And then it should collapse into, and it should line up with this point over here. 
And then now you're just going to take the point and flip it back over that center line and then open up your center flex. Ta-da! Got it? And I love the action of this because you take these and you just pop it open and it does this thing, which is pretty amazing. So this makes a really cool uh, holiday card. And again, you know, you can put a picture in there if you want to. Let's draw a face. Let's draw a couple of faces. Happy, happy, happy. Okay, so that's the really cool envelope.